Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, curious minds, to our video that explores the ins and outs of Simon Boswell. Simon Boswell, born 15 October 1956, is a BAFT nominated British film score composer, conductor, producer, and musician, with more than 100 credits to his name. He is known for combining mainly electronic elements with orchestral. In the next segment, we'll be exploring biography and its implications for our subject matter. An alumnus of the independent The Habitishes Asks Boys School, Boswell studied English literature at Pembroke College, Cambridge. Playing the guitar since age 12, he was an accomplished guitarist and was signed by Transatlantic Records in 1975 whilst still at college. This led to the release of his first solo album, The Mind Parasites, a collection of contemporary acoustic songs and instrumentals. He formed the band Advertising in 1977, at the beginning of the punk rock era. Labelled Power Pop, the band was more of an homage to the pop art style of Andy Warhol and the Velvet Underground. They toured extensively with Blondie. After the spit of advertising, Boswell became a record producer both in the United Kingdom and Italy. He produced Italian megastar Renato Zero's album and album of Nino Bonacori. Boswell's record productions from the Urs have influenced many contemporary musicians, notably the sample of the band 23 Ski Yusuke which became the Chemical Brothers block rockin' beats. After producing two albums for the London band Live Wire, he joined the band. As we enter this new phase, let's analyse film from different angles and evaluate its significance. Boswell's film career started in 1985, and since then he has countless awards from around the world and has been nominated twice for a BAFTA award. Some directors that Boswell has worked with include Danny Boyle, Michael Hoffman, Dario Argento, Clive Barker and Alejandro Jodorowsky. Elements of his work in film include Italian exploitation phenomena, stage fright, contemporary thrillers, shallow grave, hackers, horror flicks, lord of illusions, hardware, romances and character studies, Jack and Sarah, this year's love, born romantic, dramas in my father's den, the wall zone, my zinc bed, fantasies, Santa Sagri, photographing fairies, tin man and literary classics, a midsummer night's dream, cousin Betty. He has also collaborated with many high-profile artists on his projects, such as Elton John, Dolly Parton and Marianne Faithfull. Established as a live performer as well as working in recording studio, he is accomplished with electronic and rock genres, combining these with epic orchestral scores. Boswell has also worked on two projects with the Vatican. Santa Subito was his first project, which was a film collaboration setting the speeches and the singing of Pope John Paul I, I to Boswell's music and visuals. Boswell more recently composed for and produced the album Alma Mater, featuring Pope Benedict XVI. The works on the album combine Gregorian chant along with Western art contemporary music and Middle Eastern influences, and the album was launched officially at a concert in Westminster Cathedral in November 2009, featuring the Chamber Choir of the Philharmonic Academy of Rome and singer Yasmin Sanino. With our foundation established, it's time to explore TV and its relevance to our overarching theme. Oswald has composed for BAFT a nominated TV series The Lakes, and collaborated with filmmaker Brian Hill and poet Simon Armitage on pornography, the musical and songbirds. Get ready for a thought-provoking discussion as we delve into music and its impact on our understanding. Oswald has worked with musicians from bands such as Blur, Orbital, The Sex Pistols and Echo and The Bunnymen. In 1982 he produced and arranged the album Via Tagliamento 1965-1970 for the popular Italian singer and songwriter Renato Zero. His credits as arranger and producer also include albums by Ami Stewart, Tony Esposito, Tullio De Piscopo and Nino Bonacori. In autumn 2006, his album Close Your Eyes was released independently via his own flick records after 12 years of work. 
quote, I cut up my previous scores into bits and reassembled them as new songs mixing full orchestra with musicians from Blur and The Kills and spoken word parts for some of the actors and directors I have worked with along the way including Ewan McGregor, Ray Winstone, Goran Visney, Dario Argento and Alejandro Jodorowsky. With the groundwork laid, let's now examine art and its connections to our previous discussions. Bozol continues to work on his own unique art project called BLINK, an audiovisual installation looped to last forever of portraits extracted from news footage and individually scored with their own soundtracks. This was first exhibited at the ICA in London in 2002 on four simultaneous cinema-sized screens. Let's now shift gears and explore TV credits through a critical lens uncovering its strengths and weaknesses. A Tin Man nearly famous six episodes Catwalk Dogs. A Jack and Ori two episodes The Magician of Samark and Muddle Earth. A Sea of Souls two episodes. A Pornography, the musical. A Widows. A Mind Games. A Lawson and the Argonauts. A Tube Tales segment Bone. A Killer Net. With our foundation established. It's time to explore other music credits and its relevance to our overarching theme. Are in my father's den music recordist. Octon soundtrack producer. Woman talking dirty music arranger the debtors conductor. A cows in Betty music arranger and producer. A second best music arranger burnsicle soundtrack producer. A fino olamort TV music arranger. Let's now enter the realm of personal life and discover the fascinating stories it has to tell. He married and divorced, having had a son named Jack. He lived with the actress Liza Anthony and has a son by her, Jimmy, born in 2004. In 2008 Jimmy was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis and recovered after an operation a year later. Simon is now married to the contemporary fine artist Luke White which is also the lead singer in his band Fund, which are performing Simon's film Scores Live. Thanks for being a part of this amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you more exciting content.